agree with your principles that Jesus by nature is God. He has a divine nature and he has a human nature. So I'll ask you this question. Think, uh, think about this here when I'm asking you this question. When Jesus was worshipping on the floor, he was frustrating on the floor and he was worshipping the Father, was he worshipping his own godly essence or was he worshipping the Father? Worshiping his own godly essence, and what he worshiping the Father. And my answer to that was the person of the Son was worshiping the person of the Father. So, where was Jesus as God then? Look, it's really simple, but I'm not, understand. I'm not sure why you're not comprehending me. Am I not saying it correctly? No, no. I'm going to uh, articulate myself one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. articulate yourself. That's fine, no worries, no worries. So, the, I'm going to say this one more time, bro. Yeah, I want you to understand. Yeah, think about this. It, it shows, bro, to be honest, Trinity is quite confusing. That's why you, even, even confusing. you're not understanding. Let me tell you why it's confusing. Okay, you're, let me repeat. Not, okay, let's, let's be fair then. Let me repeat one more time, bro. Yeah? You're, you're conflating essence and person. No, I'm not, because you agree that Jesus has a divine nature. Yes? Yeah, I agree. That's fine. Jesus also has a human nature, yes? Okay, look, let's, let's break it down. Let's, okay, bro, let's make it simple then. Jesus has a divine nature, Jesus has a God nature. The Father is not Jesus, and Jesus is not the Father. That distinction has been made. That's fine. Where, where the person That's fine. That's fine, no worries. For the sake of argument, let's agree. No, but let, let me articulate myself again. So when Jesus was frustrating on the floor, he was worshipping the Almighty. I want to ask you this question now. Was Jesus worshipping himself in his divine nature? As he was a human, when he was prostrating on the floor, who was he worshipping? Was he worshipping his divine nature or was he worshipping the Father? Was Jesus worshipping himself in his divine nature? Or was he worshipping the Father? What do you mean by that? So you agree that Jesus has a human nature, yes? So, and when Jesus was in, in his human nature, when he was frustrating on the floor, yeah. So where was Jesus as God then? Because he has two natures. Where was his God nature? Where was his divine nature then? What's his divine nature? What's his divine nature himself? Yeah, where was his divine nature when he was frustrating on the floor? Yeah, his divine nature. That means he's not God. No, no, no. That principle means he's not God. I'll let you finish, but that principle means that he's not God. I'll let you finish, but I'll let <laughs> right, so your question was about Jesus' divine nature. And I told you the divine nature is the very same divine nature of the Father. Okay, so, right, so the person. Is Jesus' divine nature the same as the Father's divine nature then? Correct, yeah. There is. Why? Because Jesus is not the Father and the Father is not Jesus. You're conflating. That's heresy, bro. No, 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 That's no, no, no. heresy. Can I, can I respond? Because what you just said, what you just said actually proves my point because you're mixing up the definitions of essence and person. Okay. And you're assuming they mean the same thing. Okay. If they mean the same thing, then yeah, for sure, you're right. But they don't mean the same thing. Right? Essence and personal are different. So when you're asking, is Jesus worshiping the divine? Is he worshiping his divine nature? You're conflating essence and person. Right? Those terms. We use them differently. It doesn't mean the same thing. So when we say Jesus is one with the Father, we mean one in terms of essence, but in terms of personhood, Jesus is distinct from the Father. Which is why when you ask me when Jesus is prostrating, who was he praying to? Or who was he worshipping? My answer was what? The person of the Son is worshipping the person of the Son. Okay, but now we have to understand my brother, yeah? Look, when you come to... Could you, like, face it? Yeah, so when I was saying to you, bro, like Jesus in his. Now, do you understand what I just so said? I understand what you're saying, but I think there's a couple of things that we should clarify. Because okay. when I'm talking about Jesus, when we already affirm that he has two natures there, we have to, we cannot dismiss the divine nature of Jesus. Why can we not dismiss that? Because you already agreed and affirmed that Jesus. Now, actually, let me clarify this first. Is Jesus' divine nature and the Father's divine nature, are they both distinct or are they the same? Okay, so when the Father is speaking to Jesus and asking him to worship him, who is speaking to him? The person of the Father. So where was Jesus as, as God? Where was Jesus? Where was he in this equation? When you're saying that the, uh, Jesus as a human was communicating with the Father, where was Jesus as God? Look, what, what, what my point, what my point is here. What my point is here. Let me, let me finish for you. My point is that you're saying that for example they have a divine nature and the simultaneous. Yeah, but we can already affirm that we, there's, 
a distinct entity. Why? Because you. Let me ask you a really important question. No, they're not distinct. Okay, okay, let's prove that. They don't believe that. Does Jesus, does Jesus as God have a will? Does Jesus as God have a will? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, the person of Christ. Does the Father have his own will? So they both have a different will. They both have a distinct will, yes? Distinct will. Absolutely. Now, now let's understand. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's for the sake of argument, let's agree. Even though it does not make any logical sense for God to have a similar, a, a, a similar will, a different will, but at the same time be united. It doesn't make sense. Because Allah says in the Quran, let me tell you why. Because Allah says in the Quran, if there's multiple gods, yeah, then there will be always quarrels. There will be issues. Let's see. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Let's say one god. Let, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Let's say one god wants me wants you to wear a black jacket. Now the other god he wants you to wear a red jacket. How would you solve that equation? Let me tell you why. 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 Let me tell you Kind of Let's clarify this. Let's clarify this. I don't want to throw at anyone. I don't want to throw at anyone. I don't want to throw at anyone. When in the verse in the Bible, when it says that the Father is greater than I, okay, can I, okay, I'll, let you, I'll let you ask your question. No problem. Let me just finish up one thing. Yeah. So when, that's why no worries. So when, okay, so when in the Bible it clearly says that the only true God is the Father, that already affirms that there's only one true God, there's one true entity, which we all agree with is the Father. So when you're putting different parameters and stating that a human being also has a divine nature is a contradiction. Just to give you an example, 100% human, which is imperfect, and God by nature is perfect, that's a contradiction. Something cannot be perfect and imperfect at the same time. So what's the question? We don't listen to you. No, 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 I listen to you. So the point is, the, the, statement, the statement I'm trying to make to you is, that, the statement I'm trying to make to you is that when you guys believe, and you guys, I'll be honest, what Christians do, they play a word game. I'm not saying you are, but I'm saying a lot of people play a word game. Because they know it doesn't make logical sense for Jesus to have a divine nature, but at the same time, go on the floor and prostrate to someone else. It shows that the only true God that Jesus had was the Father. So where do you as Christians get this heretic belief of Jesus being God? Because Jesus himself never prayed to himself. Do we ever see the Father? Do we ever see Jesus telling the Father to worship him? Do we ever see that? No, do we ever see that? You said Jesus never prayed to himself. What, what do you mean by that? Where did, is there any... Like, that's fine, go for it, go for it, go for it. Like, like where do we ever say that Jesus prayed to himself? Okay, I didn't make that clear. So it still appears that you don't be having got a grasp of exactly what the Trinity is. No, because I said, no, the question. Which is just why you're, you're attacking straw men. No, no, can I repeat my question? Your My question is, yeah, do we ever see, wait, 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 I think this is important. That's, I think that's important, yeah. Do we ever see uh, Jesus commanding the Father to worship Him? Do we ever see Jesus commanding the Father to worship Him? No, we don't. But why? why wait, 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 that's an important question. Why don't we see that? By the fact that, by the fact that Jesus came from heaven, as in a human body, as in a, is in a, is in a human form, in a baby. He already came, he knows his will already, so what he does, he communicates with the, uh, the will with his father. That's why when he says Jesus and his father is the same, when Philip asks him, show us the father, how should I show the father? Who saw me, saw the father. But that's not answering the question to be fair, but if you want to go back to your point, that has nothing to do with the question uh, I'm speaking about. That has nothing to do with what you just said, bro. The question was, That's how it's the why, why doesn't Jesus tell his father to watch him? Yeah. If he was really God, if he was really God, why? Because you believe Jesus has a divine nature. So if Jesus has a divine nature, why don't we see him asking the Father to worship him if you believe they're all distinct gods? We don't believe they're all distinct gods. See, you're misrepresenting. Didn't you just say they have a distinct, distinct they will? They are distinct persons. Do they have distinct gods? Wait, 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 one second. They are not distinct gods. See, that doesn't exist in the real world. See, see, that does not exist in the real world. You have to it, it doesn't make sense in the real world, though. Right? Let's analyze it. Then maybe you go and understand what the doctrine is before you come here. And <laughs> okay, my friend, if I don't understand the doctrine, why does Jesus say, okay, look, be, be sincere, be sincere, my friend. You know, every, when, when you guys think of, when you guys think of, he's a distinct person, that's all. Okay, wait, one second. I've, I've said that. He said that to me already. He already affirmed, he already affirmed there's two different natures there. God, Jesus has a God nature, divine nature, for the sake of argument, for terminology's sake. Jesus has a divine nature and he has a human nature. So what I try doing is analyzing this specific nature. If this nature is really the case, why don't we see Jesus commanding the Father to worship him when he also has a divine nature? Yeah, Jesus actually, it, did, it doesn't um, show his, um, his divine nature. So where is it? No, 
can I, can I address it? Where is it? I, I, where is this the binding shop? I've heard this question. When he but, does the miracles, for instance. No, but where is it Jesus' divine nature then? Because if you're saying that his divine nature has not appeared, then where is his God then? That means he's not God then, is he? Can I, can I answer that? Yeah, for possible. instance, when you resurrect Lazarus, there is, there is, there is, there it's a contradiction to be fair. No, it's a contradiction. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> so your, your question was... Uh, Five minutes I'm going to pray to Bobby, yeah? Five okay. minutes I'm going to pray, yeah? Okay, cool. So your question was, let, let, let me make sure that I got you right. If Jesus, if Jesus is divine, why doesn't he tell his father to, to worship him? If he is God, then of course God has a right to be worshipped. Why is Jesus not being worshipped by the father? If he is God. If, he, if Jesus is God, then... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jesus is God, why doesn't he ask God to worship him? Because in that instance, Jesus is human. So why would a human ask God to worship him? Well, wait, bro, well, listen. Well, as, this, as this individual said, yeah. Well, Jesus takes on human nature. So as, as human, he submits to the will of his father. So no, look, that, that firstly, make sense. that's a contradiction. Let me tell you why it's a contradiction. Okay, think about this. Yeah, think about this. Why is that a contradiction? For example, for God, do we agree God by nature is perfect? Do we agree that God by nature is all powerful, all strong, all merciful, all wise? Do we all agree with these fundamental attributes of God? Absolutely. So when God becomes a human, by nature you have to, when you, for a human for example, his essence is that he's imperfect, he's weak, he eats food. Allah says in the Quran, Mary and Jesus, let me finish please. Eh? Allah says in the Quran that Mary and Jesus both used to eat food. Why? Because it determines, for example, if someone is self-sufficient and is all-knowing, he cannot become a human because by nature that's a contradiction. Someone cannot be self-sufficient and not self-sufficient at the same time. Someone cannot eat food. If you believe that a God who needs to eat food also defecates, at the same time, he's also a, a, a human and a God at the same time. That's a contradiction. Would you agree with this principle? I want you to like be with me right now. Do you agree with this principle? That's a contradiction. To get clarification from your no worries, no worries. I suggest that. I suggest that it's a very same. I suggest that it's one person. I suggest that God is one person. Which one person or three persons? One person or three persons? Well, we accept that God is one person. So you, why are you saying one person then, bro? Like you're, you're changing your source. Well, you said one person, now you say three persons. Like, be consistent. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am being consistent. You said one person, one minute. You don't accept one person. The question suggests that God. Okay, but you have to be really specific with that. It's just one person. And we believe that that one person becomes human. And we defecate. And then when Jesus is praying, Jesus is praying to himself. Yeah. Which is why, yeah. yeah. But we don't believe that. We believe that God is three persons. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. I don't understand this. Wait, wait. I don't understand this. When Jesus was eating food, when Jesus got killed by the Romans, you both you agree that Jesus is divine nature and he has a human nature. So when Jesus was eating food, when he was defecating, is, is, that, is that the same? Is that the same? Is that the same, is that the same God? No, understand this. Understand this. Is that the same God that is all knowing and all powerful? Do you believe that God is all powerful, all powerful eternally? Do you believe God is all knowing eternally? Answer these questions. I believe God is all knowing eternally. And do you believe God is all powerful eternally? I believe God is all powerful eternally. Yeah, I believe God is all powerful. So if Jesus as God is all powerful eternally, when he got killed by the Romans, when he used to eat food, then was that the same God that was all powerful eternally? Are you Jesus as divine or Jesus as incarnate? No, 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 you're asking a Trinitarian, so you need to clarify. No, when I speak to when I speak to Jesus as incarnate. Look, when I speak to you, when I speak to you Christians, I speak to them on the level that they believe in two natures of Jesus. And I talk about, and I talk about, of course, is no, Jesus. Are you referring to divinity? So well, in his divinity, I'm talking about, yes, no problem, because you believe, you believe Jesus is God. Also, oh, are, are you saying what? Is divinity died? Is that what you're referring to? Is Look, what I'm trying to say to you is, let me repeat myself one more time. Yeah? What I'm trying to emphasize is that God by nature is all powerful. God by nature is all knowing. So these are the fundamental attributes in order for someone to be called a God. Okay, so now we have to analyze this. Wait, 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 let me finish, please. Let me finish. So these attributes, we have to analyze it and put it towards Jesus. Even Jesus as God, I'm not saying in his human nature. I'm saying even Jesus as God, for example, did not know the hour. As God, 
and God by nature is all knowing. That's like me, for example. Let's say I know everyone's name here. Right? I know this brother's name, I know your name, I know your name, but I don't know this person's name. Does that same person be all knowing eternally? No, it is not. But I want to ask you, Jesus as God, when he did not know the hour, when he said the only true God is the Father, what heart, what is this referring to? Because that's what he said in the Bible. No, 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 Jesus said the only true God is the Father. Wait, wait. So when Jesus said that, yeah, you're asking two different questions. So let's stick with it. Jesus as God, yeah? So let's talk about Jesus as God. I'm not talking about his human nature. I'm talking about Jesus as God. Jesus as God, did he know the hour? In his divine nature, did he know the hour? In his divine nature. Yeah, in his divine nature. Okay, so in that way, that's verse, Jesus was, was in that verse. Okay, so in that verse, was he in his divine nature or his human nature? No, that's not the question I asked you. No, 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 no. But, that's but not that, the question I asked you. Very relevant to the question. That's not the question I asked you. Yeah, about him. No, no, it's yeah, it's not about my friend, yeah, my friend, listen. Yeah, that's that's not the question. I'll, I'll, my friend, listen. Yeah. That's not the question I asked you. The question I asked you is that Jesus in his divine nature, yeah, because of course God by nature, we all agree right now, is all knowing and all powerful and so sufficient. So the question that I'm gonna Ask you again: Is God, sorry, is Jesus in His divine nature? Did He know no, no, the hour? Jesus in His divine nature. Okay, so wait, 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 wait,
and you himself? Wait, 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 wait. He did no. in a human nature. When okay, he answer this question. No, 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 no. Did Jesus as God know the hour? No, 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 no. Let's go back to the point. Did Jesus know the hour? Yes. Okay, so can you demonstrate that Jesus was assuming his divine nature when he said he didn't know the hour? Can you ask it? Can you can you demonstrate that? Look, the Bible verses are really clear. Why are you no, guys running no, away from the Bible where, verses? Show me where it suggests that okay, Jesus was assuming Let's his think about divine this. nature when he said he didn't know the hour. Use the reason. That's a fair question. Wait, wait, wait. That's not a fair question. Look, let me tell you why. You mean the hour when he's coming back? The second coming? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, hold on. We understand our point. We understand our point. So when Jesus you need to demonstrate that Jesus was assuming his divine nature when he said he didn't know the time, because in order for his question to make sense. Wait, wait. Let me respond. I understand the question. I understand the question. He has to assume. I was trying to get me to assume that Jesus was assuming his divine nature okay, when he said he didn't know the day and hour, which he wasn't. He was in a human okay, let me respond to that, yeah, my friend. So yeah, my friend. Okay, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no,
الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يلد ولم يكن له كفوا احد سو هي دوزنت ايفن ريلاي اون فكره هي هي دوزنت ايفن ريلاي اون ناتشورال انكليشن هي سبيسيفيكلي تولز قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد All the messages that of the past, no, Abraham, Noah, Isa, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they all came with the same message. They said, worship Allah and do not do idol worship. And that's why, alhamdulillah, us Muslims follow that. Unfortunately, unfortunately, many Christians are worshipping a baby as God. A baby, a baby that eats food. A baby became God. Stop for Allah Okay, wait, 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 one second. Now you're going to talk about Allah's attributes now, yeah? I talk about Allah's attributes. Yeah, it's simple. Look, you don't even like to say it. To be honest, it's a different topic, but I'll conclude that Allah has attributes. Okay, let me ask you a question now. Allah's to right hand. Do you, can you see? No, no, it's going to answer your question. It's going to answer your question. No, trust me, trust me, trust me. Trust me on this, trust me on this. Trust me on this. Do you believe, do you, I, I, can you hear? Can you hear and see? Okay, I'm going to answer it for him. So he can hear and he can see. God can hear and God can see. Can, he, can God hear and talk the same way as you? That's what I'm saying, man. So of course, you're going to say, man. Here's an even better one. Here's an even better one. You've got a face, a clock's got a face. Let's say that again. Who resurrected Moses? What do you mean who resurrected Moses? What do you mean? Oh, what does that even mean? Look, I just want to finish the topic. That's it. That's my question. No, the question, look, no, the point that's is. That's my question. Oh, wait. So the answer is for you to say, so where Moses is, teaches that Allah has to say, yeah. I want you to show me where Moses teaches that Allah has to say, And what would that be in the what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Look, 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 is that the thing that we're making? All I'm saying is, show me where Moses is. Allah, look, let me tell you, look. Because you said that Moses, Abraham, etc. So where is your Allah? Which is just, which I'm assuming is the same Allah that you are. So, if that's the case, then show me where Moses is. What would that mean? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, that's a complete, wait, wait, wait. That's a complete, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. He's not breaking. He's not breaking. Let me tell you why. I'm saying that in the Quran, let me finish. In the Quran, it always affirms that we should only worship one Allah. Yeah, and we're saying that the same message that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came with is the exact same message that Jesus, Moses, and Noah came in regards to the concept of God. When you're talking about Allah has two right hands, for example, Allah is all seeing, Allah is all knowing. For example, you can hear right now. Yeah, you can hear me speak right now. God can hear. Is God hearing and you're hearing the same? Absolutely not. Why? Because we have a principle in Islam. They say for me to shake it. They say for me to shake it. So wait, wait. So to be honest with you, no, no, that's ridiculous. Now you're diverting. You're diverting. You're diverting. You're diverting. We don't believe in the song. We don't believe God has a son. We don't believe God is a father. We don't believe God is a son. 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 We don't believe God is a son.